while an untamed Sarawak in the 1970s was defined by poverty in the rural areas despite an abundance of arable farming land. Myself having served for seven years in various parts of Sarawak, I noticed there is a rampant spread of poverty, especially in rural areas, which need to be addressed. The Sarawak Land Consolidation and Rehabilitation Authority, SELCRA, was formed in Sarawak in 1976 with the objectives of bringing progress and a better future for the local people through sustainable development of native land. The local people, through the creation of native customary rights, either they own this land individually or communally on, but in all cases, the majority of this land are not surveyed. We don't have facilities to do the survey of individual lots. Malaysia, in the early days, famous for a few crops. Cam, pepper, rubber. But what remains after more than 100 years is Wapa. Former Deputy Chief Minister of Sarawak, Datuk Patinggi Alfred Jabu Numpang, proposed to have the Selkra Bill introduced to the State Legislative Assembly in 1976. Selkra's first oil palm scheme began in Marindun, in the Lubang Antu area, rife with poverty and joblessness. Selkra fulfilled its promise to bring development to the rural communities not only through opening native customary right lands but also in holistic corporate social responsibility. Schools and kindergartens were opened, new bridges were built to connect remote villages, new roads were opened in places where there were none before. From that first estate, Selkra currently owns and manages five palm oil mills for participants serving various areas of operations. For any crops, you can have the best soil, you can have the best weather, the best planting materials. But the important one is the TLC, the tender loving care, meaning the people behind all these things. Under General Manager Datu Vasco Sabat Singkang's leadership from 1998, Selkra embraced many changes in modern and astute estate management systems that have set new benchmarks. The changes include a compulsory morning muster that was introduced at each oil palm estate for workers to start off the day together. Dedication and commitment to harvesting the finest and freshest oil palm fruits can be seen in the buzz of activity in each estate. Today, sophisticated new technology is utilized to enable efficient planting of even steep hillsides to maximize harvesting alongside existing mature oil palm plantations such as Spuna Nanga Bong. From 3,000 hectares of land in the 1970s during the pioneering years, Selkra has today developed over 57,000 hectares of land. And over 10,000 land titles have been delivered to landowners with perpetuity. From one small mill in Nubok Antu, a spectacular new palm oil mill 
symbolically located on the same site, will be opened. Once operational, all five mills would have the capacity to process 1.5 million metric tons of fresh fruit bunches. The golden crop of precious oil palm has benefited not only landowners and participants, but all Sarawakians. Selkra remains steadfast in protecting the lands under its native customary right, paying generous total net proceeds and creating employment. Having land is a reflection of status in any native community. It, it is a property. It is a symbol of having wealth. It is also a symbol of a person is a hardworking. We have brought business mindset to the people involved in various uh, businesses. Forty years ago, the whole of Sarawak, the common thing that we see is poverty. Now, rate of poverty is very much reduced below 5% right throughout. Most areas, there is no incident of poverty. So this plantation of course they generate income for the locals and the town no, indirectly benefit from them because when they have high income of course they will buy a lot of these necessity. So we have 34 pintu, 34 family, we have 300 lebih population. Tapi mayor di Audi negeri waktu buah gawai oh ni keramaian dan baru bersih pelik rumah. Untuk aku dah baik sakral ke mana benar buat kami bandi tu ianya tanah kami diberi pelak. Jadi lepas ianya infrastruktur bukai lepas sakral dah masuk masa itu jalai ke kian kita kena kian kita semua sudah mana. Saya susah lah. Betah pun ada harga, lada pun dah turun harga. Jadi kami kak masa skin ke satu, kayaknya palak tanah dia beri sekera. Kami bisa no kami kerja, kami bisa gaji lah, bisa beri orang gaji. Kedua, kayaknya mak dividen. Kami boleh beli bersikal, boleh beli butuh sikal. Kami boleh ada rumah, tu deh. Ada dividen sawit kami tu. Anak kumpat, sekolah anak lebih dien, dah kerja. Today, Selkra has begun its expansion and diversification programs to introduce even more benefits and returns for the people. It has acquired the Sarawak Fertilizer Sandri and Berhad to produce and supply fertilizer for Selkra's estates. A research and development centre for new crops, including bamboo and gaharu, 
will ensure a brighter future in alternative sustainable commodities that are in demand. Selkra has also embarked on an integrated fish culture project at Batang Ai Lubong Antu under the National Key Economic Area, EPP4 Aquaculture. The other area we are looking into now, the Batang Ai Hydro Dam water bodies, whether it can help to produce food. Of course, the government is talking about tilapia, red tilapia fish. An oil palm seed garden is thriving in Karabunga, Miri, and a modern training center has opened at Bajo to further educate and raise a new generation of oil palm estate managers, landowners, and participants. A new horizon beckons for Sarawak with a promise of progress and hope for the people. 40 years down the road, and we are preparing for our 40th anniversary and we would like to share with our stakeholders and also to give good accountability over to the government who have entrusted us through this organization of SAFRA to perform well. Now after 40 years we have a good home for SAFRA and from there I believe in the next so many years the result would be very, very positive towards profit-oriented organizations, providing good place where we can train, retrain, and internalize our expertise. At the same time, bring in outside expertise to match our already acquired expertise so that we can leap forward with greater pace and greater certainty and confidence to meet the future.